our first session of the day and we're going to be uh, lo lo looking at how we can uh, collect the data from the given sites in order to cal calculate the expense of living in those cities so uh, we're going to be working uh, just directly by uh, doing uh, them we're not going to have uh, slides and things like, like that before it's more of a hands-on uh, learning yeah okay so um okay i think uh, Salam, uh, sorry laven piece you didn't uh join correctly uh so you're gonna be kicked out and you can you have to rejoin okay i think there's some te technical problem okay so can you see my screen guys Okay, thank you, Nathan. Uh, okay, uh, let's start then. So, uh, so we have given you these two sites that you can go and uh, fetch the data that we have provided. So let's go through them and uh, find out ways how we can uh, get the data that we have that we want. So, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, let's start. So. The first thing that you're going to, you're going to do is uh, you have a short li list of cities that you have, you can work work is by when you are, I believe, uh, doing your analysis for the. I can see the from uh, my side. You can see the screen. No, please. Uh, okay. Uh, what about the rest? I think maybe you have you are having a delay. Yeah. You still can see? No, maybe let me rejoin to see. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, check that in. Let me know. Yeah. So let's start with the expedition. So here, you can just uh, do just uh, view the cost of living and go to the by city and you can actually compare the cost of living uh, from two different cities for now let's try the uh, I think uh, at this Ababa yeah so it's the capital city of Ethiopia and when you uh, click on show the expense of li living here you're gonna get a list, right? So for food, for lunch time, for any type of meal, for uh, boneless ch chicken, which is around half a kilo, uh, the, the expense is going to be 361 bear and so on, right? So you have the cost of uh, food here, the cost of housing here. So the cost of ho housing is actually uh, put on in a detailed, manner so uh, monthly rent or uh like 85 meter squares furnished uh place where and I, okay yes bernard bernard okay maybe it's a mistake So, okay, uh, yeah, you can pin the presentation uh, if that's the case. And which site are you using? Uh, no, for now, I am using the uh, expedition site. So, bo both of the, th the sites are actually here. So, we have Nimbo in the expedition. Uh, site. So for now, for the first one, I'm using the, the expedition. Yeah. So we have the cost of housing here. So in expensive areas, in normal areas, and so on. Um, but for the housing, uh, we're going to see the other side that yeah, I believe that's it has a better uh, way of pu putting it. But for here, 
you can just look out, uh, look at the internet speed, the flood, and so on. Like the, for the utilities here, so you are asked uh, the utility cost. So here you have the utility cost for one month for a person who is living in a studio of uh, 45 meters square house apartment. Yeah, and for the clothes you have the this uh, costs, transportation, and so on. Right. So you can just go through uh, this and make sure to just collect the data that you want uh, to be included in, in your analysis. Uh, so here you can find a better uh, data for groceries and healthcare. And on the NIMBO side, uh, the NIMBO side, let's just uh, do a design again. Sorry. I at this place. Yeah, so here for Addis Ababa, here you can find again uh, the grocery list, uh, the restaurants, um, transportation, utility. So here it's put in a more compact way. There, uh, what we have seen was more of um, a detailed way, right? So here you have these things. So child care, you have uh, for primary school, that's uh, for one child monthly and so on. Uh, yeah, clothing, rent here you can find uh, for apartment of one bedroom in city on in the city center and outside of the city center and th their cost. And here you can find the range. Um, so yeah, you can find the prices here. So you, you can just export them and use them. So one of the things that you have to do is make sure, uh, so here you can see it's in beer and here you can see it's in do dollars, right? So, well, uh, so let's say I did the analysis for Ethiopia in beer, right? So when I go to other, uh, cities, for instance, uh, Okay, uh, let's take which city should we take? Um, Cairo, let, let, let's take Cairo. Uh, is it Cairo? Yeah, Cairo. Cairo from Egypt. So here, if I want to do the analysis for Cairo and Addis Ababa, here you can see it's in a different currency, right? So it's here in Egypt pound. So the cost here are in Egypt pound. So you need to convert everything into dollars or here actually there is uh, an option uh, that lets you choose the currency. So here, let's say United States dollars. So it will update the cost into United States dollars. So here you can see in brackets, it puts the same um, cost of the community or the property the thing in dollars as well. So you can use this one and this one together, right? So make sure that everything or every cost that you are uh, doing the analysis for or collecting the data for is converted into the same Currency. So is that clear, guys? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry, there is a question. I guess. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, yes. Yes, you can go. Yes, and I wanted to ask. You, you have not showed us how to import the data. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And also the parameters, would they match for us to have a good comparison? What com comparison? I'm sorry. The the different the cost of living, the data. Yeah. For the different cost of living, are they going to match for the different cities? Um, yeah. We also so have comparison. Yeah, so that's going to be uh, the work for this week. I don't know if you have gone through the challenge document, but 
for task two, you are expected to just collect the data, these data for different cities and do the analysis. So uh, your, your company, Freeborn, is looking for a city that has clean air, uh, pollution free, and uh, good le le level of po pollution. And also, uh, the city should have a good or an affordable uh, living, right? So in order to find out if it is affordable and if it is not too expensive you're going to do this analysis so what i'm going to what i'm trying to show you right now is just how you are going to uh, collect the data for each city and once you have the collected the data you can compare them so uh, here uh, 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 on the challenge document we have actually put how you're going to do the analysis so here you have the monthly rate the utilities for demand uh grocery for one month education healthcare for one month so you're gonna add these costs for each city and multiply multiply them by 12 in order to just find uh, or get the annual cost of living in that city so th this is go going to be a, a rough estimate or an uh, estimation of the cost of living in that city so of course you need to compare them so once you have collected this data you're gonna do you you're gonna find the annual cost and you're gonna compare the annual cost of living in each city so at least i believe you're gonna do the analysis for at least four cities or five cities so once you do you collect the data and you do the cost analysis like uh, just the annual cost you're gonna do the comparison for those cities and yeah is that uh, clear? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was just thinking uh, that I will show you uh, how to import the data directly into your sheets. So, uh, so let me just create a new sheet here. So what I'm going to show you is just a shortcut of uh, how you can do this, but you're not limited to doing to using this technique. But when I whenever I work on uh, on a table from a site, I would like to use this uh, method. So I'm going to show you this, and you can use it if you like. But as it done, done that, you can just copy and paste into your google sheet and do the analysis there so yeah so let's start let's just take this one right so uh yeah first let me show you uh so here is the google sheet that i'm going to be working on so here under the uh sorry the for the data no insert sorry under the insert there is a function right so under function i go to web and just import uh, HTML for now. I'm going to import the HTML. And for so here is the things that uh, it's going to uh, be expecting from me to give it. So the first thing is the URL. So the URL, uh, the query, the query is not normally a table or a list, the index. So a table uh, could have main indexes. So here you can specify the index and the, the local, which is the la language. You can actually leave this uh, empty and it will automatically uh, just uh, import in the uh, la language that's already available. So yeah, so let's try th this one right so here i have the url here so i'm just going to copy this so copy and when i insert the url i have to use codes so i'm going to code open a code and paste it so control v and close the code so this is going to be the url and then i'm going to add a comma and for the query i want tables right so we have tables so table yeah and close the code and for the index for now let's just specify one so uh, when i am writing uh index you don't need to have a quotation mark here and for the local you can just uh 
Yes, is that a question? Yes, Marty. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, I just want to confirm. Are we using Google Sheet or an Excel sheet here? Here, Google, Google Sheet. Uh, yeah, go, the Google Sheets. So Excel, not Excel. Yeah, the Google Sheets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So where were we? Yeah, and for the local, you can use uh, in a quotation mark in dash US. So here I'm just specifying the language. So US should be, sorry, in a capital. Yeah, so when I press enter, it's gonna load. Yeah, I have to allow it access here and it's gonna load the data uh yeah why is it not loading mm, okay let's just leave out okay i think it's having problem with uh access Okay, maybe let's try this one. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. Should work just fine. Yeah, so for this one, it worked. I don't know why it wasn't working for that one. I will check that. That's yeah, so here. You can see that it's already uh, export imported the table that we had right here. So here we had a food ta table where uh, all of the food is found and everything else. So, yeah. so now uh, for food, if you want to do the analysis for food and you want to add the items, you don't need to go just uh, go to go and copy and paste all of the sorry, all of the uh, data directly, right? So you can just copy this and work with, with this as you want. Yeah, so is that clear? Yes, uh, Ajabadi, I hope I'm pronouncing yes, your yes. name right. Can you yes. please repeat the process on oh, how okay. you got it to load? Yeah, and tell us uh, yeah, what you sure, did. Sure, I will. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, so, any other questions that I can answer uh, before that one? Okay. Okay. Let's do this one again. So, let me clear the sheets. Okay. So here, actually, you can just um, uh, go through and just type the formula. So in Excel sheets and Google sheets, when you want to just specify the formula, you can just uh, start by writing equal sign and then writing the formula. So you can just uh, say import uh, HTML. So import html uh, so you can find it here also and then when you uh, write the function import html it requires or it expects uh, these four uh, things the url the query the index and the local so the, the url is the, the site uh, that the table is found and for the query the query is uh, normally just uh, if it is a list or if it's a table. So we can see how it will react when we choose list, when we choose list and when we choose table. Uh, and the index is just the number of the table. So, uh, and the local is just, uh, just the language that we, can, we want to import it in. So here uh, you can see 
we have tables uh, for each things or items so here is the url so i'm just going to copy this one and go to my spreadsheets uh the google sheets and open a quotation mark before because for the url and the query we need to use quotation marks so here i'm ju i'm just going to paste it the just paste the url and close the quotation mark and for to continue to the other requirement i'm just going to click on uh, comma and here you you can see it uh, i'm on the query side so for the query for now let's just use the table so i want to import the table from this side i'm going to cross uh, the quotation mark and when i press comma i'm on the index side right so for the index i want the, the one index and for the local i can just leave it blank or i can um, type the language that i wanted to import it oh sorry i pressed enter yeah for the local i wanted to so I, i'm going to open a quotation mark and write english uh, and i want it to be in united states format so when i press enter it will load the data so here you can see i have that same data that i had uh, here right yeah so that's how i usually import the data into excel sheet to do the analysis it saves i believe it saves time and uh yeah energy effort by doing it this way <clears throat> yeah so is it clear now or shall i go through it again Please go through it again, sir, please. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, what about the rest? Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Uh, what about the rest? Is it clear? Okay. Okay. No, no, love and peace. Um, so this is not a mandatory thing that you need to use. So it's not uh, stated in the document. I'm just showing you one way you can just import the data to do your analysis. So you can just ignore it this way. You can ignore this technique or method of importing the data uh, and just work with your own uh, way. So you, you, you can just copy and paste them uh, like this into your Google Sheet and work with that. But I find this method to be easier. So that's why I'm showing you. So it's not a requirement uh, for this project or any project that use this formula and uh, just that you use this way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Yeah, uh, just, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do it one more time and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do, uh, so for the first time, I just went through the insert and the functions. Then for the second time, I show you how to do it by uh, just calling the function by uh, writing equal sign. But for now, let's do this one again. So here you're gonna go to, uh, after opening your Google Sheets, spreadsheets, you can, you're gonna go to insert and go to function and here you can see web, right? So it's gonna be like this and when you scroll down, you can see web. So from web, you can uh, go to import HTML. So when you click on this, it's going to call the function. So here it's going to accept four things, the URL, which is the site where the table is found, the query, the index, and the local. So for the URL, you can just go to the site and copy the URL, copy, and go to your Google Sheets and open a code and paste what you have copied earlier and close the URL, the code. And for the 
query so, so now you can see that you are on the url and when i press comma it shifts to the query so for the query i want tables right and i'm gonna and uh, close the uh, code and for the index i want one and for the local you can just specify the language or you can leave it black so when i press enter so it's going to import the data from or the table from that site into this one so it's easier for me to just uh, do my analysis so this is optional this is totally optional you can do it in your uh, own way or you can uh, use the, this one whichever works for you is okay we just want you to do the analysis you collect the data and do the analysis yeah okay so is it clear guys if it is clear show me some thumbs up if it's not clear make sure to just open your mic and speak or um just uh, write in the comment okay so it seems like uh most of you uh okay are okay with it good okay so if there are no questions let me just uh, stop the recording